Hey guys, so this is an exciting day because we are here with the all new 2019 Ram Power Wagon. Now my man Roman is behind the camera. Say hey Roman. Hey Steve. Awesome man, we are excited to be here. So in this video, we can't tell you how this thing drives because of an embargo, but we can show you. So we're gonna run it through four off-road tests to show you exactly what has improved on the Power Wagon. But before that, let me tell you what's new about the truck. What's under the hood of the Power Wagon? Well, this is a 6.4 liter Hemi V8. Makes 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque. Steve, I thought you were gonna tell him what's new. That's the same engine that was in last year's model. Yes, that's true. This is the same 6.4 you would have found in the last Power Wagon, but there is a difference. It is now hooked to an eight-speed automatic transmission, which is better for on-road and off. Now from the factory, the Power Wagon comes with a two inch lift, but it's also got pretty decent approach departure and ground clearance. In front, there's a 29.4 degree approach angle, 14.2 inches of ground clearance, and in the rear, 26 inches of departure angle. So are you ready to put that to the test, Steve? Oh yeah, I wanna see how those numbers really stack up in the real world. All right, let's get behind the wheel and let's do some wheeling. Let's do it. All right, guys, so here we go on the off-road and the new Power Wagon. So like I said, like we said off the top, um, drive impressions are embargoed, so it's a little tricky. I can't tell you how it handles this. All I can really do is show you how it handles this. So as we go up here, I can't say if it's good or not. You gotta use your own eyes and judge for yourself. So first of all, we're gonna put this thing down into four low. So we shift her over to neutral using the dial here, and you grab your handle and it goes down into four low. So then we're also gonna lock up. We're gonna lock the front and the rear. This is a little stair step here. It shouldn't be too tricky, but I still wanna have both my axles locked. And then maybe more importantly, we're also gonna disconnect the sway bar here. So once that's all off, sway bar disconnect in progress. I got everything flashing at me. It's trying to lock in. Sway bar disconnected. Front and rear axle's locked, there you go. So it took a second, but I'm good. So we're starting up the rocks here. It's a little tricky, Roman's spotting me through. So again, 50 to one crawl ratio, now that we have this new eight speed. Now you know that Steve, once upon a time, this would have been a Dodge, it would have had a crosshair grill, but now we've got kind of this mustached ram and that hasn't really changed but what has changed is something that's very significant it's right there it's the new worn xeon 12,000 pounds synthetic cable winch it's 28 pounds lighter the fair lead is aluminum it's just a much better winch and of course a much safer winch now that it's no longer made of steel instead we've got the more modern and i think much better synthetic cable a lot easier to use too Roman's spotting me through, straight on here. It's a little tricky. There's a couple big rocks right in the middle of these steps that are gonna be a little interesting to navigate. But nice and slow, slow and steady. And I think I can just fit between these two. A little bit driver. I think I can just squeeze between. There we go, nice little squeeze. So slowly but surely, we are climbing here. Now traction's no issue because this thing is paved, right? It's basically concrete. So how am I looking? You're looking great, but we didn't air down. This is where airing down would've helped a lot. Absolutely, I mean, for sure. I mean, the fact that it's a pretty good traction surface doesn't yeah. hurt.
I think the funnier part of this is watching Roman try to keep up with me climbing the hill. <laughs> and power wagon. Well, I can't say if that was nicely done or not, but you can decide for yourself. Uh, Nathan, Nathan would say, Power Wagon don't care! Hell yeah! <laughs> it felt, I can't tell you how it felt actually. You gotta see for yourself how it felt. <laughs> you wanna try going downhill with the uh, hill descent control? Yeah, let's try the hill descent control, absolutely. Give, see how she works. Yeah, give it a shot. So along with that winch, there are still lots of great off-road goodies here on the Power Wagon. Now the tires haven't changed. These are still 33-inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. And the whole recipe actually hasn't changed too much either. You get front and rear lockers, you get disconnecting sway bars, but what has changed are some of the numbers. So thanks to that 8-speed automatic, you now get a 50 to 1 crawl ratio because first gear is just that much lower. And thanks to the, just the whole redesign of the chassis and suspension, you actually get better articulation now, which just means that you're going to keep your wheels on the ground, which is great for off-road. Steve, you know how to adjust the speed? So yeah, we came up the hill, now we're going to go down. You turn hill descent control on with the button down here, and then using buttons right here on your steering wheel, you can adjust what you want. So lowest speed is 0.6 miles per hour, pretty dang slow. And if I crank it up, you can go up to 5 miles per hour. But we're going to take this real slow. I'm going to set her, uh, let's try 1.8 miles per hour, see how that looks. You know that 50 to 1 crawl ratio coming up really was useful. Absolutely, and you know what, the funny thing with hill descent is it's nice to have, but just putting her in low and having such a low crawl ratio would hold this thing downhill probably really good. All right, well let's find out. Yeah. Hey Steve, you and I both know that the Power Wagon is the most off-road ready, heavy duty truck in the business. Absolutely. But this business end of the truck is also important. So how much does it tow and how much can it haul? Well, first of all, let me take a seat. That's nice. new on the Ram now too. You can drop the tailgate from the touch of a button either on the fob or from inside the cab. Now when we're talking towing and payload, this new Power Wagon is good for 10,350 pounds of towing and 1,510 pounds of payload. But of course that all depends on how you equip your truck and what options you get. How much can this one haul? Uh, so this one for payload is just over 1,100 pounds because we have things like the Ram boxes, the big 12-inch screen. Every little thing that you get takes away from your payload rating. All right, guys, so you watched the power wagon come up. Now let's go down. So first, we're going to turn on our hill descent control. We're going to adjust the speed. Like I mentioned, 1.8 miles per hour. Foot's coming off the brake. And now it's all power wagon there. It caught me. you have to do is steer so my foot is off the brake off the gas just watching these ruts here which frankly aren't even that deep so I hate to keep coming back to this but I think Nathan's already summed it up perfectly power wagon don't care man. and the funny thing with hill descent control is I know it doesn't look all that dramatic and that's the entire point it just makes dealing with stuff like this simple so Steve apparently this truck has a better RTI index yeah, that means, you know, just better articulation. And again, I can't tell you how good it is, but we can certainly show you. Oh, you can tell them. So this thing now has an RTI score of 538 versus the old Power Wagon, which was 510. And there is a cool little articulation course here, so we can show you how that looks too. Let's go do it. Do it. Let's be honest, Steve. The biggest change in this new generation of Power Wagon is on the inside. I mean, look at this massive 12 inch screen. Basically what Ram has done, they've taken the full size truck interior, for instance, the Rebel, and they've transplanted it into the heavy duty truck. So now, for instance, this rotary knob straight out of the Ram Rebel that we have at the office is also in the power wagon. And I think that's a good thing because to me, the Ram interiors are some of the best in the business. Now, of course, the Ram Rebel has a lot more accent stitching, and we did have a chance to hear from the designer of the interior of the Power Wagon, and he said, basically, that for the Power Wagon, they wanted to make it, well, a little bit more black. And I think they succeeded, right? It's kind of black on black on black. If there is such a thing as a triple black interior, this Power Wagon has it. Uh, 
Um, so here we are, articulation section. So we make sure the sway bars are disconnected. That's the most important part for maximum articulation. Um, sway bar disconnect in progress. My little seven inch screen here tells me sway bar disconnected. And now here we go. So let's crawl through with Mr. Power Wagon. And again, I can't really talk about how it goes through, but we can definitely see what the clearances are like and how the articulation is. There's a little bit of mid, mid rub right there. Uh, break over angle rub. But she's feeling okay. Yeah, so again, a little scrape there on the running board. Ripping your running board, Steve. If I had a power wagon, I wouldn't have running boards, though, so. <laughs> But there you go. So, you know, a little bit on the breakover, but not much besides that. All right, hold up, Steve. All right, Steve. Three tests down, one to go. One to go, and probably the most fun, too, the water. So let's jump in here and see how the water fording does. Go for it, dude. All righty. Stop beeping. All right, Steve. Three tests down, one to go. One to go, and probably the most fun too, the water. So let's jump in here and see how the water fording goes. Go for it, dude. All righty. So here we go, entering this little lake. Now, Roman has assured me it's not too deep. I've never been here before, so I don't know what I'm getting into. But uh, yeah, we're about to find out. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, man. Oh, it churned right through there. And actually got a little bit more of an articulation section right here. Now, Roman, you can call me Captain Steve. <laughs> aye, aye, matey. <laughs> Ooh, this is, uh, this is trickier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be safe here to turn the truck around. But, I actually might not be. This is uh, Power Wagon Cruise Lines taking us on a beautiful tour of the small, muddy Californian lake. <laughs> Bit of a tricky corner there. There we go. Now, I will remind you guys, 14.2 inches of ground clearance, which is a lot. And Power Wagon is not caring. <laughs> and we're out. Uh, this is funny. So I just got a thing that popped up. Front park sense not available. Wipe front sensors. So it knew that the sensors were getting muddy. Uh, so there you go. Don't don't plan on having sensors if you're going through deep water. But that was uh, pretty good. <laughs> it's hilarious hearing the water slapping against the door. Not a sound that you normally hear in pickup trucks. I think that the Power Wagon is still the most off-road worthy heavy duty truck in the land. I absolutely agree and the best part about the 19 is they made it better at off-roading. They left some things the same but those things didn't need to be changed so yeah it's a, it's a solid package. Now of course heavy duty trucks are mainly about one thing and that is towing. And working hard. So come back tomorrow when we're gonna tow with the new 2019 3500 with how much torque? 1,000 pound-feet. And we're going to do how much weight? 35,100 pounds. That's right. You're going to see it first on the fast lane truck. And what is that new catchphrase you got, dude? For all my friends north of the border, 
Power Wagon don't care, eh? <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Check out TFLTruck.com for more news, views, and of course, you saw it first on the Fast Lane Truck Power Wagon. And tomorrow, gosh darn it, 35,100 <laughs> pound towing reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao. Yeah.